Breaking news this just in. U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer has just met with Canadian Trade Representative Christia Freeland, and it did not go well. So here's what Freeland is saying. If the tariffs go in effect against Canada, Freeland says that Canada is prepared and ready to respond, quote, appropriately to any action by the United States. She says Canada must and will protect its workers. This just days ahead of Friday's deadline for steel and aluminum tariffs to go into effect. And there's this discussion about auto tariffs. This is an on again, off again, now on again trade tiff with China. That's beating louder and angrier tune. Former acting trade representative Miriam Sapiro served Presidents Reagan, Bush, Clinton and Obama. Joining us live from D.C., first to the breaking news. Uh, now Canada, our neighbor and friend and ally to the north, uh, seems pretty furious and ready. Does this sound like Canada's ready to get into a trade war? Well, we'll see what happens in terms of whether the U.S. can try to find a way to walk this back a bit. If you'll recall, Canada and Mexico, as well as the EU, were going to be subject to tariffs several weeks ago. And at five minutes to midnight, the White House decided that they would allow a few more weeks to see if a deal could be worked out, including possibly trying to finish the NAFTA talks in time. Well, NAFTA has blown by several deadlines, and while there's still a chance that there can be an agreement reached in the next few weeks, it's unlikely, really impossible for that to happen by Friday. So Canada, like other trading partners, have said that they are prepared to retaliate if the U.S. goes ahead on Friday, June 1st, and imposes uh, tariffs or quotas. What would that uh, retaliation look like from where you stand, having served so many presidents in this trade representative role? Well, I've worked actually at the State Department as well uh, under some of those administrations. The concern is that other countries know exactly how to target U.S. products and whether they're striking at agricultural products or auto parts or other parts of our very otherwise competitive sectors, it's going to hurt. And that's why using tariffs to try to cure the deficit is not a great idea. What it ends up doing is making our imports more expensive and thereby hurting consumers, mm -hmm. and also making our exports more expensive, which means that foreign customers are going to buy less, and therefore we're going to have exports declining. Um, I, we just showed a tariff tit for tat as it, as it pertains specifically to China. Uh, mm -hmm. On again, off again. Last week, uh, the president began tweeting, uh, you know what, let's, let's lay off ZTE, the technology company that utilizes so much when it comes to parts made here in the United States to put together its phones because, quote, too many China jobs are being lost. People flipped out over that. Wait, one minute we're angry at the Chinese, the next it's you're worried more about Chinese jobs than U.S. jobs. Some people can't figure out, is this sort of the art of the deal in motion? And is there some game he's playing that we don't understand the rules to that may work out in the end for the United States? Or is, is this just turning into confusion? Because Wilbur Ross, our Commerce Secretary, is supposed to go to China on Saturday. Well, is I think right now there is turmoil. There's a lot of turmoil. And whiplash is not a trade policy. It's just painful. And corporate America is looking for more certainty, um, a clearer strategy and more leadership to try to work with all of our trading partners and figure out where the real problems are and what we can do together to try to fix them. But in the meantime, this uncertainty, and we saw it today reflected in the markets, is just hurting investment and keeping U.S. companies from making commitments to mm -hmm. open new factories and to hire more workers because we just don't know what's going to happen next.